Intermittent fasting, it is very popular. It is a very popular topic on YouTube and there is article after article after article on this topic. And if you are on this video, that probably means that it is not working for you. So if intermittent fasting is not working and you're wondering why, because you're seeing all these people succeeding on, you're seeing all this talk about it online, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna tell you why it is not working for you and see if we can find something that fits your lifestyle a little bit better. Okay, so the first reason that intermittent fasting might not be working for you is because of your hunger hormone called ghrelin. It is a hormone that increases your appetite and increases your ability to eat. And you might have experienced this whenever you go without breakfast, no snacks, your first meal is lunch, or maybe even not until four, you're able to eat so much. And the general thought is that, well, you haven't had any calories up until that point, so all your calories are gonna be there and you're not gonna end up overeating because of course you're not gonna eat 2000 calories in one sitting, but that's the power of hormones. You know, you see the power of steroids with bodybuilders and what it's able to do. Hormones are extremely strong and ghrelin allows you to eat more food. And so you end up overeating, especially at dinner. And that's when that cycle starts. And again, you might relate to this where you overate, now you feel guilty. So screw it, you're just gonna eat more. Maybe this time it's ice cream, you're just gonna have dessert and you're not gonna hit your workout that day. And you're gonna start your intermittent fasting diet on the next day and you're gonna start your workout on the next day and it starts this cycle, and then there's guilt, and then there's overeating, and then again, you're really hungry, and you're wondering why you're overeating or why this isn't working, and it is because of the hunger hormone, ghrelin, and I'm not the only one that thinks this. One of my favorite coaches online, a lot of people talk about ghrelin, but one of my favorite coaches online is Coach Greg. He talks about ghrelin in almost all of his videos where he talks about intermittent fasting, and he'll tell you that ghrelin will punch you in the face. I'm grilling, I'm coming to punch you in the face. And I think what he means by that is that it blindsides you, it surprises you. You're like, how am I able to eat this much? How am I able to overeat and why am I not losing weight? I feel like I'm, you know, I'm not eating all day and then I'm eating this one meal or two meals and, and I'm over consuming on calories. And that is why, because it surprises you. The second reason that intermittent fasting might not be working for you is because you're a normal person. You like food and it isn't exactly normal for us to sleep deny ourselves food for multiple hours after we wake up, maybe up to 12 hours, and still be going without food. We take in food for a reason. It fuels our activities. It fuels our day. It fuels our ability to work and to move. And so if you're finding that you're just miserable up until you're able to eat, that is normal. That is not anything wrong with you. It is because it is contrary to the body's desire, which is to take in calories and to be satisfied. And the last reason I wanna tell you about of why intermittent fasting might not be working for you is because your body will lower its NEAT, its non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or just how much you move and how much your body is naturally burning calories with you just sitting there. It's a survival mechanism. It makes sure that you spare calories throughout your day, but if you just would have eaten and you end up eating the same amount in the total day, you would have been moving more, you would have had more energy. It's small things like not getting up to go get the remote, shifting your hands, talking with your hands, getting up to go into the bathroom an extra time, whatever. You're just moving around more and that's burning more calories. You might have experienced this. You come home, you are dead tired. You don't feel like moving at all. You sit down and you just stay there. It makes sense. We are tired when we don't have enough calories to fuel our bodies. Then you eat, you overeat, you feel really guilty. You're still tired because your whole day you were without calories. And it just kind of ruins your day, ruins your evening. If you have experienced this, you are not alone. Not to mention, when you're tired, your willpower naturally drops. It's easier to say, you know what, I just don't feel like making dinner. Let's just go out. I'll start tomorrow. And whenever you say, I'll start tomorrow, I'll do better tomorrow, enough times, a year passes, five years pass, 30 years pass. You don't want to be attempting something that isn't working for you for so long. 30 years might be a bit you know, exaggerated, but you don't want to be attempting so long that you forget that, you know, this just isn't working and, and I have a life to live and I want to progress. So here's my encouragement to you, maybe permission for you. If this is not working, just ditch it. You don't need to keep trying something that is extremely popular and eventually isn't going to be talked about anymore. It is, it's been around for a while. And yes, for some people it works. If it's working for you and you don't even get hungry until lunch and so you don't care, then keep on doing it. I'm not saying that intermittent fasting isn't for anyone. It's just not for most people. So here's your permission to quit that and just start eating low calorie dense foods. There are plenty of channels. I hope to be one of them someday. But Coach Greg Doucette, uh, Remington James, Exercise for Cheat Meals, um, Iron Musket, 
there's lots of channels out there that make recipes that are low calorie dense that allow you to eat more and actually consume less all day long. You don't have to be miserable, you don't have to suffer, and you don't have to fast if you do not want to. Don't feel pressured to do this. You got this, you can do this your way, you can start with a breakfast, don't worry. It is still going to work. The majority of people have lost in, in history, have lost weight with just simple caloric restriction. You don't go overboard. I have other videos on that. So check those out. If you're wondering how low your calories should go, I'll try to put that right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.